my little pup, Diamond. We both love the snake room, we both love having our snakes. And now today we're going to tell you about problem feeders, particularly colubrids. During winter and at the end of winter, trying to get them to eat better. And if they're not eating at all, is it okay for them to go a few months without eating? You're watching Beauty Snakes. Uh, the first colubrid I'm going to talk to you about is corn snakes. Now this goes the same for king snakes and milk snakes. Towards the end of winter and whatnot, in the wild they would just be coming out of hibernation. So t sometimes it's hard to get them back on food if they took a break on food. Now one trick that I've always liked to do is I like to use a small container just like this. Now what I do is I just take the animal put it right in the container put the lid on well with them all the way in put the animal in there put a blanket over top and just let them sit in there until they finally take it now if they're not doing that and eating the mouse that you put in there now you might want to try live mouse live mice typically will get them to eat a lot better All right. Now with a snake as small as, say, this albino Brooks King, you're going to want to use a lot smaller of a container such as this pencil box. So I like to just go ahead and toss them in real quick, make sure you put the mouse in there, and if they don't like eating a frozen thaw this way, go ahead and try putting a live in there. Now also I do want to stress, don't worry if your animal goes two, three months without eating, because in the wild when they're hibernating for that three to four months, they're not eating at all. So don't worry about it. Your animal will be just fine. Now another thing that, especially with green tree pythons, if they're not eating, you got to make sure the humidity is up. Now I just like to take a spray bottle, spray them down pretty good, make sure there's a lot of moisture, a lot of water in there, and then eventually, once the humidity starts coming up, then they'll start eating with no problem, shedding great, no problems whatsoever. Now this is a cool little guy that I found out by my in-laws house. This is a broadhead skink. It is a female and the way that you can tell with these guys if it's a male or female is the color of their head. If they are a male they'll have an orange to a red head or if they're a female they'll have a brown head just like this. Now if you catch them in the wild like I did they do like to bite they're not very friendly and very hard to hold. Now as much as our cold-blooded friends and our furry friends are friends themselves, you really got to be careful because as we have our little puppy here, Diamond, she actually likes to snap at the snakes. Now, I always recommend keep them away from each other. It's okay to introduce them. But, well, some snakes will hurt the dog and other snakes will get hurt by the dog. So that's a good to know. Now, I hope you guys didn't think I was going to do a video without carpet pythons. Because as you all know, they are my absolute favorite. Now, this one just shed recently. So I really wanted to show you the green that's in the snake. It's really quite different for the coastals to be more green. Normally, they're more of a white cream ish color as the secondary color to the black now she's getting he's getting pretty big he eats rats about every two weeks and I'm looking forward to breeding him next year now this is my other coastal carpet python this is my female coastal and she just recently shed and she looks absolutely beautiful now unlike the other coastal that I just showed you this has more of the creamish white color to it versus the other one being a little bit of a green to it, which I'm really looking forward to seeing what the babies are going to look like. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. We got to go over what you do with some problem feeders, and I got to show you some of my cool animals. 
So if you guys have any questions or comments, just email me at beautysnakes at yahoo.com. Go ahead and search for us on Facebook. Go ahead, keyword, beauty snakes. Like us on there. You guys have a good one. Are you recording? Oh, very nice, very nice, very nice. Yeah, you can stop recording now. <laughs> Clubbers can be problem feeders a lot towards the end of winter, towards during winter. Yeah, I just messed up. Just like I showed you before, as they try to fight you, of course, close it up as, there you go. My camera person's a pain in the ass. All right, guys, this is a broadhead skink, and you're zooming in really close. It was just fine. Oh, never mind.